Okay, so here's my more conventional gate. Um, taking into consideration the drawings that, or the, the um, photographs that I saw, this is what is sort of a hybrid of some of the things that I saw there. Um, I chose copper just because that's what I would like. Um, I just want to say you could use really anything the sky's the limit. I can make those panels um, glass, and then we could frost them or mirror them or black them out so that they're one way. So from the inside of the house, you can see out, but from the outside, people can't see in. Um, the copper could be embossed. Dave has a fantastic leather worker that, you know, has a bunch of different, this was just a sample, but he has a bunch of different tools. And so you could emboss a different pattern on the very thin copper that I would use to cover. Those are all, all these panels would be aluminum panels, quarter inch thick. And then I would cover them in copper. And then whenever I rivet the plates over the top of those very thin pieces of copper, they'd be locked in. Um, I would cover whether it was variegated copper, which I haven't talked about yet, but I'll get to whether it was variegated copper or stamped copper or, or just brushed copper. I would, uh, certainly clear coat everything with a clear powder coat. So it's very durable. Um, and then there's also variegated copper. So that's what variegated copper looks like. You can see some samples of what people have done with it. Um, you know, I could do that sort of a veneer on the aluminum panel as well and make it maintenance uh, free. Um, this particular design, I was going to custom machine these faux rivets. Um, they would actually be threaded together and I would use some red Loctite to keep them from coming apart. I used those on the logo as well as the lower panel. Um, I thought a lot about what I wanted to present you with for this upper portion. But I just kind of kept it simple. If you really want something more, I have all the tools to do something that is, you know, scrolled and, and fancy. Um, but I thought for this, I would just kind of keep it simple. Um, the, the H would stay on the left side. I mean, I can make it left or right. It would stay on one side. And I just want to point out that that is, that's going to mean that there has to be a gap around the, the, opposite side. I thought that was much nicer than a seam down the middle of the crest or the emblem. Um, I went with a very durable stainless steel hinge. It's a McMaster car item. Um, it's good for a thousand pounds. I'll probably use three of them per side just to make sure that we're never going to have to maintenance them or wear them out. Um, and I wanted to mention that, so in the, in my mind, I would, uh, black powder coat the hinges with the rest of the black powder coated steel frame. They would kind of disappear into the background. And if you preferred to have something decorative that looked like a hinge, then there's people that will, for, you know, hand forge. These are on Etsy. Um, and that's just one of the options, but it's just something we can do. We can, it's a, a it gives the appearance of a old fashioned hinge without, um, you know, I, I wanted the modern stainless with bearings and grease fittings. So, but I could certainly mount those on there or something like it or make our own. Um, if you wanted a little more detail on the front of the, of the gate, I currently have these as uh, two by sixes. I would use deck boards and stain them and I have them sliding up into slots in the uh, three by three quarter inch wall square tubing. So it'd be a very durable, heavy gate. Um, I'm not planning on putting a handle on it for manual operation, but if you, that's something you want, we can. Um, I think it would just be for looks though, because you're not going to get to, you know, it doesn't generally cooperate well, a handle with an automatic gate. Um, so you're probably just going to want your keypad on the inside or outside and, and, you know, the clicker in the car. And that's going to be the only way that you can operate the gate. Um, I did not model the linear actuator. I will before the project starts, but for purposes of just, if you like the design, I thought this was enough detail. Um, I will send Casey the, um, there's a file that I can send you that you guys can manipulate this yourself. That way you can zoom in and see, you know, there's something you don't like. 
because this thing will be, you know, if this is the design you go with, it will be identical to this. So this, that would give you a chance to really sort of get a feel for it. Uh, let me know what you think. Thank you.